Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Montagna. This segment, we're going to talk about the difference between a warp 10, a warp 75, and other units. You know, why buy a warp instead of somebody else's? And we're going to explain the difference. And the primary difference is in one, the research. These are the units that did the research for NASA through quantum uh, devices in Wisconsin who makes the products. Uh, these are the ones that are on the space station in the military. Uh, the Warp 75 is primarily the one that did the research uh, using the NASA technology uh, for uh, uh, cancer patients and the reactions that they have through chemotherapy and giving them relief. The main difference between these and other units are the LED lights themselves. All the others that I've found use what I call electronic store LED lights, similar to these. And you've seen these type of things, and they're great for lighting the way or, or lighting up buttons and so forth. And you can see these, these lights have a globe kind of on top. And what happens is it takes the energy and projects out so you have a nice bright light. And you get a little bit of projection goes up like this. So if I've got, let's say that these were therapeutic type of lights, which they're not, uh, we would have what we call a hot spot here, or bright, and then a dead or a cold spot. Hot spot, cold spot, hot and cold, hot and cold. Uh, so in between there, you're not getting any energy. And that's what happens. Now with quantum, they use LED chips. They come from Japan. It's the only thing of the unit that is not made or put together in Wisconsin, is these chips from Japan. And the chips project out this way, so you don't have a hot spot. A good way to demonstrate, I have this unit here I bought off the internet. Now I'm not picking on this unit because every other unit I found does the same thing. If you put a piece of paper over it, you're going to see the bulbs. Let's take this row here. You have a hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Now what they do in, in these units to say their output, they'll say one bulb produces so much energy. So therefore we have X number of bulbs and they multiply it and say this is the energy that we put out but you need to know how much energy per square inch and if you took per square inch here you have a lot of cold areas so therefore you're not getting the output. If you use a, a true device on it you'll find that you're not getting the energy out of there which is why this unit says to use it for 30 minutes at a time even an hour to be able to get the results. Now if you take a device like the Warp 75 and put the paper over it you can see an even distribution because again the LED chip sent it out this way there's no hot no cold spots this is one of the most dramatic things that I've seen in the way that I test units when I want to compare whether I want to use them at all uh, they you know, are they evenly distributing the power this is why this unit gets the results that the testing done for NASA shows if you find another unit that quotes NASA Research or University of Wisconsin, find out what research those units did. If it's not a, a warp device from quantum devices, it had nothing to do with the research. Same way with the warp 10. Warp 10 gives, has the same chips, it's just smaller. The warp 75 is seven and a half times larger in, in uh, space that it puts out the energy. With the irregular LED chips, with that globe over it, they will heat up, which can decrease the amount of energy the LED will put out. The warp 75 and the warp 10 will never happen because they have a delay unit. If it starts to warm up, it says, wait, I'm a little too warm. It's going to affect the output, and you will not get the results you're supposed to have, so you have to wait until I'm ready. The delay light goes off, then you can use it. If, if, you, if you're using it over and over, particularly the 75 if you'd be using it and cover up the air vents. That's the main difference between the two. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can contact me by going to www.warp-light.com. That's warp-light.com. If you're having successes, hey, let us know. We'll pass the information on to the uh, company. That's where they get a lot of their ideas for the research. The uh, 
uh, research uh, going on for dry macular degeneration, concussions, Alzheimer's, all this has come about because people say they seeing results with it. So if we see enough people with results. Even if you didn't buy from us, you're having a problem, let me know. If I don't have the answer, I know who to get a hold of and we can get the answers for you. I hope this uh, helped explain things and if you know somebody that bought one of the other units, take a piece of paper over and check it out. Let me know what you find out. Have a great day and may God bless.